guys, Noelle Rose Anderson hyphen, ooh, hyphen kale, I'm doing this backwards, la love, uh, <laughs> dance warrior, hashtag that, and, um, okay, this is dated on September 11th, 2001, and I'm just going through this, all these old reminiscing things, because I find them quite fascinating. Hi, Noelle. So far, Lance is home. Your dad was not working in NY. He wasn't working. He was supposed to be in northern Bergen County, New Jersey, near the Tappanzee Bridge. I'm positive he is okay, but probably he will have a tough time getting home. I haven't heard from him yet, but I heard they closed Route 17 as an emergency highway. I will let you know as soon as he is home that everything is okay. I was at a business meeting around 45 minutes outside of Newark. I watched the second tower go down from a window. It looked like a war zone. My boss refused to drive me back into Newark because Newark was being evacuated. But as we were driving, the traffic was so light, so he uh, left me off a couple miles away from the building, and I walked through the streets of Newark to get to my truck. By then, Newark was pretty empty, and I had no problem getting there. Lance doesn't have school tomorrow, and we don't know about the rest of the week. I'll write you as soon as your dad comes home. That was at 16.14.44, military time. And then at 18, 28, 23, and also Eastern time. Just to let you know, your dad made it home. It took him two and a half hours. He is already saying that no way is he flying out there. My brother, my real brother, was uh, getting married to his second wife, beautiful girl. And uh, it was only like a week later, the 17th or 18th, something like that. Um, but I think he will calm down. It'll probably be safer to fly now. I'll keep talking to him and let you know if he changes his mind. I love my dad. I wanted to see him, but he didn't go. I don't blame him. He is not a good flyer to begin with, and this doesn't help. Let me know what's happening your way. Bruce said a fly out of Denver may have been shot down on its way to the Golden Gate Bridge. This is no news. There is no news about it here yet. Talk to you later. I want to see, I want to see CNN because I think we are bombing Afghanistan. You know what I think about 9-11. This is about my grandfather who raped me. He died April 15, 2006. I have nothing to do with that. He made his choices. They're horrible. Look at me. Aren't I cute? Second time we renewed our vows. Because we were trying to have like a really big wedding and it didn't work out the second time either. I used to work here. I'm not working for any Christian organization ever, 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 ever again. That's all I can say. After the things I found out. I showed you what Focus on the Family sent me, right? That brochure with a girl grabbing her ass, lifting her dress up. I'm like, excuse me, this is coming from a Christian institution? I don't think so. And I called them up and they said, I don't remember that. I was like, it's your stuff. Why did you send it to me? And everybody around me was basically trying to tell me that everything in my life was happening because, you know, just God refining me and all this. I don't believe that now. Here's all the songs that I wrote. Christian music, spiritual mothers, the ocean, so keep on growing in the Lord, He is there. Dawn's chorus sings, He's created all things, and a sparrow never falls that He doesn't see. Remember that one? Do you remember that one? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is when we were making commercial films and cobra production. So, I think somebody has something very insidious planned, and we are about to really mess up those plans for them. Because I'm like, nope. But, why isn't the government helping us? Or maybe they're helping us, but it's behind the scenes. After we said, don't do this behind the scenes, because it endangers us more. I have a few words for certain somebody. And it ain't going to go well for them. Because I'm very, very rightfully mad at them. Oh yeah, jury duty. They keep harassing me about this. You know, I can't do it right now. I, I definitely would have a biased opinion towards a lot of different things right now because of the harm we're suffering. And I have to protect myself. This COVID stuff, mm -mm. no thank you. I don't wanna be around that in the court. They should do Zoom or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. They shouldn't make people have to go do that. That's very, very bad right now. Very, very bad. <sighs> you know, I don't want to risk my life just to go into a courtroom like that. They, they have to figure something else out. But anyway, I'm going to have to get it excused because I, 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 I don't like district attorneys right now because of the BS we went through with our accident and everything like that and what they did to my husband and mm -mm. I, I just I would have a, I'd have a very hard time being unbiased right now and what the cops are doing to us and certain people I, I, I can't I, I just can't oh and there's another record here that's saying that uh, my husband's married to a 29 year old, apparently our daughter. <laughs> that's a funny thing, huh? I'd like to know why the hell somebody's trying to impersonate my daughter when I don't even have one. I'm very, very, very mad. Anyway, just wanted to share that little tidbit with you two. Okay, that's all guys, that's all. I'm gonna start reading my book while love. Weren't we just here? No. It's so hot here. Okay, why don't you turn that...